Season 6 is looking like the best season inside of Call of Duty Mobile like all time right now. Better than Season 5. I can't wait for it, bro. We have lots to talk about. Let's get it. But before we start, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel for everything Call of Duty Mobile. And let me know in the comment section down below saying that you sub. I'll be talking to everybody in the comment section. So we're going to chat it up. Make sure y'all sub. And yeah, let's go ahead and talk about this. So first things first, the two new game modes inside of Call of Duty Mobile. I have gameplay of both of them in the background for y'all. But one of my favorite game modes is coming inside of Call of Duty Mobile, which is killing confirmed that should have been a game mode that should have just automatically been in the game since launch since the beta post beta all the way back when we was on the Indian servers it should have been in the game from the get-go but we're finally getting kill confirmed it's amazing now, I will say one thing that is really cheese for one if you get a confirm inside a kill confirmed that's a hundred points that's a lot of that's almost like a kill you're basically doubling your points just by playing kill confirmed so I know it's gonna be a whole lot of streaks gonna be a whole lot of mess hopefully that gets nerfed a little bit maybe they bring it down to like 50 or 25 like it was in the past maybe 50 50 might do it a little justice maybe even 75 but i think 50 would be the sweet spot for the amount of points but it works exactly the same kill confirm is, is amazing it's now on every single map and it is on rust and that's another thing rust is actually coming so once season six drop we're getting rust but that's for another video it, it looks amazing too we are getting another game mode which is capture the flag but it's kind of different it's no longer a flag it's like a little gold carriage or something it has gold in it but it works exactly like capture the flag you have to do it three times and you have two rounds and then once you do that you automatically win the game that's the only difference i don't know why they just couldn't keep a flag maybe they want to be a little bit different maybe it has issue with certain countries I, I don't know but I don't know why they couldn't do a, a simple flag but I don't know I don't know and once capture the flag does come inside a Call of Duty Mobile season 6 I'm hoping that replaces domination inside a rank because I'm just not a fan of domination I really don't feel like it's that competitive it's not that fun I, I just don't like it you can really dominate if you have flag and you have spots covered inside of domination but I feel like capture the flag and get a lot more people out there a little bit more choke points and stuff like that I just feel like rank would just do a lot better for capture the flag maybe even kill confirm I'm not sure Sure, I'm not a really competitive person, but I know that kill confirm is just amazing. And who likes playing TDM when you have nothing but campers? I hate it a lot. It's not fun at all, so that's why I really enjoy playing kill confirm in any Call of Duty, especially now inside of Call of Duty Mobile. It's so good. If you haven't had a chance to do it, please try your best to get inside of the public beta for season six inside of Call of Duty Mobile. Kill confirm works great. Capture the flag, amazing too as well. And also, we are getting a new operator skill, which is the annihilator. So the people that have God aim, there is your operator skill for you. Now, this one will require some skills but of course it's like in the recent call of duty for the black ops series the annihilator it definitely has some aim assist so you could be just not even aiming outside and shooting and automatically get the kill since call of duty mobile is kind of catered towards the noobs and whatnot and in a way the annihilator is it has aim assist like it, it like it just does it's really good especially if you're close on the enemy with your crosshairs it's it's amazing bro it's pretty it's pretty powerful so if you get that operating skill in the right hands i promise you that it's going to be dominant you're going to be like one shot one kill where, where's this coming from i know i'm I'm going to be using it a lot I know a lot of people are too as well i know a lot of people have been waiting for this operator skill to come inside of call of duty mobile it is finally here and i just want to say thank goodness because i'm hoping a lot more people would use that instead of the hive i literally hate the hive it shouldn't even exist in the game but i know it's an operator skill inside of black ops 3 so it's, it's fine and i also wanted to touch on this just for a little while but the theme for season six is a western theme i don't know what it was going with this but it's definitely a little bit more lighthearted than season five i feel like season five was definitely a, like a very serious season but a season that we needed because i, I enjoy season five and season six is looking even better but it's a western theme for season six if you're into that type of stuff it has all types of stuff as far as skin and cosmetics and stuff like that just the overall theme itself just the main menu is a western theme so like i said if you're into that type of stuff it's definitely inside of season six hey click on this video right here we're talking about the all new gks rainbow unicorn i'm telling y'all that gun right there is probably the best gun in the game and the best looking gun so go ahead click on there i'll see you in the next video it's prince rose i'm out peace y'all